is going on here. I woke up this morning and it looks like father and son are bonding. Hey friends, back with my January finds video part two. Yes, I have been going crazy, finding good deals. It's been very fruitful the beginning of the year so far. I've just had really good luck. And plus, I know what I want. There's a few in here that you're probably gonna be like, why did you get that? Why? Because I like it. And here I go, I'm gonna show you some cassettes I bought. So the first one, a VC member said I should check out more sweet. So I found this cassette, it's Desolation Boulevard. Ooh, sorry for the glare, I'm trying not to, uh, okay. Uh, look at the look at the songs on there, Ballroom Blitz, 16s, Set Me Free, this is really good. Um, so Glam Rock from the 70s, Power Pop. Yeah, I don't know why I haven't gotten into these guys before, but unfortunately this cassette is kind of warped, so I'll be getting a replacement probably on vinyl, a vinyl replacement in the future. Very enjoyable. So thank you to that VC member. I can't wait to explore more. Trip Shakespeare, Applehead Man. I recently mentioned them. Um, I picked up their second album, Are You Shakespearean? on vinyl recently, and it's an omnivore release. Really good. This is their first album. 1986 was when it was released. They're like a college rock power pop band, really good harmonies. If you like that kind of stuff, you will dig Trip Shakespeare. So this is the Applehead Man. Kitty Lang, Shadowland. Now Vinyl Richie showed this recently in his top 25 singers of all time, I think. And um, yeah, this is her debut album. Such a good voice. I'm just blown away by this album. Soaring vocals, Patsy Cline-ish. Um, so it's like country, pop, I recommend this. And I think uh, one of the producers on this album also produced Patsy Cline. I could be wrong on that, but I think I read that. So yeah, 99 cents, I had to pick up Shadowland from Kitty Ling. I'm gonna get some more from her down the road, I think. Matthew Sweet, Blue Sky on Mars, 1997. I had this on CD, mm, it disappeared, so I had to get this and it was cheap. Um, you probably remember the song, Where You Get Love, that was really overplayed when I was in high school. My favorite song on this is Behind the Smile. If you haven't heard of Matthew Sweet, his two major albums were Girlfriend and 100% Fun. Um, just a power pop genius. The guy is releasing albums left and right still, like every year, every two years. I'm kind of behind on his latest uh, material, but his 90s stuff has always been gold to me, and I have tons of his CDs, so I had to pick that up. All right, on to the vinyl, so uh, I don't bore you guys too much with cassettes, because I know you are here most likely for the vinyl. Now, I picked up two Beach Boys releases. I got Smiley Smile. I know, this is kind of a strange strange album, but um, these were both the right price. So it's on Brother Records. Picked it up because Heroes and Villains is on here and Good Vibrations. And um, I'm a huge Beach Boys fan, so I kinda, I don't wanna say I'm gonna be a completist, but I'm picking up some of their major albums. So yeah, this is kind of a strange, there's some strange tunes on here. You're kind of like, what the heck are they doing? But um, still good, still good to pick it up. Beach Boys, California Girls. I recently showed this on my Instagram. This is on the Green Capital label, which I'm not sure how desirable that is. But um, I think it's actually missing a track from what I was reading. Um, here's the track listing. These were both in excellent shape too. So, Help Me Rhonda, California Girls is on here. And Your Dreams Come True, I love when they do acapella songs. Love my Beach Boys. Especially now when it's been so frigid. Uh, the Tom Tom Club, Close to the Bone. I had never seen this ever. Now I have their first album um, on CD. So this is kind of like a blind purchase for me in that I had never heard these songs before, but the, I mean, this second album of theirs, 
I'm glad I picked it up. So this is the sideband of uh, Tina Wymouth and Chris Franz from The Talking Heads. And uh, Pleasure of Love, that's a good song, Bamboo Town. It's really funky stuff from the 80s. I think this is from, what does it say, 1983. Really good follow-up to their debut, kind of continues with that fun, funky type of music. So I recommend this. And I mean, I never see this anywhere. So it was, it was cheap, it was five bucks. The Buggles, Adventures in Modern Recording. I wouldn't have known about this, but my friend Gordon at uh, Flash Gordon's One Record at a Time, he showed this recently. And I was like, what? They had another album besides Age of Plastic? I have Age of Plastic and I just really, really, really like it. So this is kind of like a continuation of that, the, the new wave style. Now they did Video Killed the Radio Star, that's on their first album. So um, if you like that album, you'll probably like this. And it was also pretty cheap. Buggles. I found an Everything But The Girl album, which I never see their stuff on vinyl. So this is Idlewild. I believe it's their fifth album. So track listing, this is from 1988. Really like Tracy Thorne's vocals, um, Apron Strings, Blue Moon Rose. This is a good pickup and it's a promo. Um, so if you like, you know, pop from the 80s, um, the Sire, and it was a good price. So I'm glad to add them to my records. This is the one you guys are probably gonna be like, um, yeah. Musical Youth Past the Duchy. I know. Um, I had only heard that song from them, but I saw this and it was so cheap and I was like, I love that song. And um, this is like a British kid reggae group from the 80s. This is from 1982. If I'm gonna be honest, this is really good. I listened to this when I was cleaning the basement and I mean, if you just want something you know, reggae, upbeat, music, you don't really have to think about. This is, that's fun. <laughs> Translator, everywhere that I'm not, this is a compilation. Oh, I should mention that these, this one and the next two I got from a store called Earwax here in town, which Chris and I hadn't been to in six to eight months. Um, check out this picture, this is what it looks like. It's like an orange hut, it's small, Yeah, so we stopped in there. Um, they really specialize like in a lot of classic rock, but I got these three LPs for $8 total. They had some good deals. So I'm a big fan of Translator. They are like a new wave, kind of alternative, jingle pop band from the 80s. I have three of their studio albums, but this was so cheap, I just wanted to add it. Um, Heartbeats and Triggers, I got their second album, which the name is escaping me right now, and then I have their self-titled album with the flowers on it. It's, that's really good too. Cheap Trick in Color, this is my first Cheap Trick on vinyl. This is a gatefold. Y'all know Cheap Trick, I don't have to spend much time on this one. And I guess this belonged to Frazel. <laughs> but um, yeah, I really like their first album, This and Heaven Tonight. Just an essential power pop band from the 70s. Some of y'all mentioned Emmy Lou Harris in your contest entries um, to my contest. So, and I realized I didn't have any of her stuff. So I started with this um, compilation profile two, best of Emmy Lou Harris. It's a really nice compilation. Uh, Blue Kentucky Girl, Wayfinder Stranger. Yeah, I'm happy to pick this up and it was it was cheap. So I also wanna get Loretta Lynn. I really like Loretta Lynn. I have a, I've had a mixtape of hers forever. Um, really love her voice too. Okay, we're getting to some meat now. Some good stuff in here. Okay. I won an eBay auction recently. This is a band I really love. And um, I, I recently did a top 20 favorite bands video. Check that out if you want. Um, and I listed X in there. So I really love X, but this band would replace them now in my top 20, and that's The Church. I love The Church. 
I've been a big fan of them for a while. This is Gold Afternoon Fix. The cover is pretty beat up, but the actual disc is excellent. And um, this is an underrated album, in my opinion. This is on Arista. So I won this off eBay. And Metropolis is on here. Love that song. Actually, all of a side one. It's just oh, such good songs. Terra Novocaine, Russian Autumn Heart, You're Still Beautiful, and the last song, Grind. Thumbs up. And I think Marty Wilson Piper, I think his guitar, his 12-string guitar may have been stolen during the sessions for this album, so you don't hear as much of that jangle as you usually do, but it's still classic, atmospheric church sound. I recommend you um, sample this if you're not familiar. All right, the next two I bought off the eBay selling group or one of the, the vinyl selling groups. And these were $10 each and they're near mint condition. Still, uh, still in the shrink wrap. You guys will recognize these. I mean, I don't, Pinkerton and Weezer's Blue album. So $10 each, heck yeah. And still in the shrink and everything. And these are uh, direct metal mastering for Optimal Sound Cut at Abbey Road Studios. I'm not gonna say much about these because these are just classic alternative 90s albums that I'm sure you are well familiar with. I mean, who doesn't know uh, Buddy Holly or Undone the Sweater Song? So, I mean, it's really fun to have these on vinyl. And then Pinkerton, their second album. Another great one. I'm not a huge Weezer fan, but I love their early stuff here. And, um, I really should check out their more recent material. I think they have a new covers album out. I haven't really heard it, um, but that's all I know. All right, next. I mentioned felt in my last finds video. Love felt. I'm really getting into them now. I saw this at uh, my local store downtown, and I could not believe they had this. I had never seen this before. Let me know if you guys have seen this before. It is the complete BBC Sessions. From what I was reading online, this is actually a bootleg. Let me show you the vinyl because it's really gorgeous. Look at that gorgeous blue color, wow. It's got some marbling in there too. This actually sounds really good for a bootleg and for some live recordings. Um, I'm really enjoying it. So that was a pretty decent price too. Their reissues right now are ridiculously expensive. Like if you want one of their reissues, you're gonna pay 30 to 40 bucks. So I'm kind of waiting for them to decrease, but they're imports, so I'm not sure if they will. <sighs> anyway, um, my last one, we're down to the last one, Brian Jonestown Massacre, Strung Out in Heaven. Check the price out on this too, 9.99. I had to check with the girl at the counter. I was like, um, is that correct? Or is that a mismarked thing? And she was like, nope, that's correct. So this is a brand new sealed album. This album originally came out in 1998. I love this. My uncle burned this for me on CD when I was in college and I played it a lot. So I had to I had to pick this up on vinyl. Um, I know some of you are fans of Brian Jones Sound Massacre, like Vinyl Richie, Paul at Baraka P Dub, he's a fan. He actually featured them in my first contest um, when he did an entry for my 500 subs contest. He showed one of their albums. So I'm really happy to have this. This is a solid, solid album from them. And yeah, they're just, you know, they use a lot of psych influences, obviously Rolling Stones influenced. Um, so they, they have really stayed true to that sound over the years. And yeah, they've been around since the 90s. And I've sampled their latest album. I think it's called Somewhere Else or Something Else. And that's also really good. So happy to pick that up. That's it. Woo! -hoo! That's my January finds. Finally, it's completed. Like I said, I've been having really good luck this year. I don't know why, but I've just been kind of striking gold, in my opinion anyway. Of course, we all have different uh, views <laughs> to as to what's good or not. Thank you guys. I hope to get back to my current listening series videos too because I'm really behind on that. I've only done two, I think, two or three. I'd like to do some more um, album review videos. That's what my current listening series is. So hopefully I can knock one of those out in the next week as well. Enjoy your week. Bye.